Get, uh, if nothing else, just give it a countdown for when you're gonna hit this. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Only the first ones were actually accurate. That's not true, it don't believe it. Break it, Michael. Oh, it's another buff on there. Great. Okay. We, so, we finished that challenge off camera. You uh, weren't missing no, anything. Didn't. They didn't get it? Oh, no. They didn't get How it. It wasn't know? recorded. I Dude, I practiced so hard. I practiced so hard. They didn't get that? We're getting more Krizoas. Oh, man. Okay, so all that fucking did opened a goddamn gate. So now we can get another Krizoa. I don't know why it opened the goddamn gate. I don't know why we had to do that to open the goddamn gate. Well, it's a very elaborate setup to keep the Sharp Claw from getting the Krizoa spirits. I just don't fucking care. The Sharp Claw, who are, by the way, too stupid to have their invincible henchmen doing anything but guarding passageways. I know, right? Like, I seriously. stole your joke. I know, right? It was best. Oh, yeah, you did. That was my joke. Fuck you. Alright, I go this way. And then I stole I stole his thing in my early days of playing. I like how Elmo. when you jump you can change direction. Like just barely. Wait, wait, what the is he gone? Yeah. He Where'd went he go? This way. He went this way. What the uh, hell? Of course he went this way. Why wouldn't he go this way? I kinda figured the entrance to that gate was gonna be right at the beginning. He went that way. I don't fucking know where I'm going, dude. I think it's off to your left. Yes, you did. How did anything. he get over there, though? He waited. Wouldn't be that hard. Like, he went through the tiny tunnel. He... all that shit. Okay, whatever. Walked across a little thingy. Get that. Get that. Thank you. <laughs> so we're getting a Krizoa Spirit? Yep. What's the trial consist of, do you know? It's not as annoying as the last one. Okay. I have a good memory of everything that keeps happening because I can remember what happened the last time when that episode came out a few days ago. So who am I kidding? My memory's not that good. Oh, the fear one? Yeah. Oh, fuck that one. Yeah, but we got some good gags out of it. That's true. Namely, when I talked about animal people who have a fetish for dressing up as people people. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I, I seriously remember nothing about this trial. I don't either. It might just give it to you. Uh, I hope. Maybe they just gave up at this point and were like, yeah, fuck it. You kind of get that feeling the later you go in this game. <laughs> you, you, I think your phone just died. No, I, I just uh, turned it off and back on. Uh. God damn it. <sighs> that other one was the only one in the room. No, it wasn't. All right, I gotta, I gotta make up for lost. It's been time. a while since I've used this ability. Yeah, I gotta make up for lost time and think of Scientologist jokes. Why? Because that's what the rat, that's what the bat rasters are. Okay. Are you happy? What? You wouldn't treat a child the way you treat a dog, would you? No, I, I mean, no, I wouldn't. They're different species, so I would probably so like i was having different intellect levels and different level forms of, of so, training and teaching values and morals i mean they have different places in society not that that's right or wrong it's just a thing i mean a dog will try to maul a small bunny where a child won't so i have to teach the dog restraint in that regard where i wouldn't have to teach a child that so yes is I, that what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that years ago when I was in New York with my choir, um, one of the uh, Broadway plays we went to see was right across the street from the Church of Scientology. Why did you respawn? <sighs> that blow was... Maybe he was just born in that time. fucking kidding me? You can't jump over those with those gonna respawn. Okay, he did Woo! But man, that, that but... MRE, man, that, that thing just did me in. Fuck. 
I had an MR. There he was. He is back. No, 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 no! He flew in to tell you that your feetin levels were off. Feetin? I think that's what they call him. What's a feetin? Uh, it measures how many alien souls are attached to your body. What? Something like that. What, what game is that from? That's that's not from a game. That's from the Church of Scientology. W w wait. Wait. What the fuck did you just say? Scientologists have some beliefs that frankly aren't that much stranger than anyone else's. Let's be real here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I see what that... So the lever probably turns off some fires, but not all of them. So you've got to switch it back to turn off that one in the middle. I see. Okay. Yeah, you know, Easy well, peasy lemon squeeze. In the ancient times, uh, there was an alien emperor by the name of Lord Xenu. And uh, Lord Xenu felt his population was overpopulated. So he uh, elected that his answer was he was going to start brainwashing his subjects to make them submissive. And then after making them submissive, uh, he then froze them and dropped them into the pits of uh, a, a, a volcano in Hawaii, at which point their frozen dead bodies, their confused souls, then searched the land for something to attach to and latch to human beings, and that's why humans have problems. But, but why, though? I, I don't know. I don't know. Why did, why did God put a tree in the middle of the Garden of Eden and be like, don't okay, eat that. I get that. <laughs> but one of these was made thousands of years ago. I think you can just swim across. But... One of them was made thousands of years ago, orated by tribesmen and shamans, you know, Well, for thousands I, I, of years. Please don't tell me it's going to pick it back up. From a pre-civilization era. And the other one was made fucking... Now! In the this! Okay, actual quote by, uh, what's his name? L. Ron Hubbard, who is the founder of Scientology. Like, before... No, 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 no. Come, here, come, here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Like, he, he, he was a science fiction writer. His A, that's part of it. The creator, of, the founder of Scientology was a science fiction writer. And years before any of this... This is goddamn torture. He was quoted as saying... If you wanted to make real money, you'd start a religion. Oh, man. Yeah, don't let him hear that. Yeah. Run to the end of the room, make sure that no, no more are gonna spawn. And then I think you're gonna have to toss it through. You're gonna have to toss it through the fire and flames. Through the fire and flames? Yes. So far away, we wait for the day. Okay, I think we're good. This is, I, you can't hop up there, I presume. So what, are you gonna, you have to just get a clear shot? That, that's, doesn't look doable. But what do you know? There's and the there spirit. There it is. What are you gonna make me do? Hey, speaking of alien wait, souls wait, attaching themselves wait, to your body. Wait, wait, wait. Test of strength! So I gotta mash buttons. Probably. I gotta mash buttons. That's... Didn't we already have one of these? No, we had to mash buttons against the Native American thing guy. Remember that? Yeah, but I thought like the second Krizoa Palace challenge was kill a bunch of enemies in this amount of time. Oh, see, I oh, oh I this! I to mash A, I told you! This again. Are you kidding me? No! I told you, that's what I gotta do! Like, as soon What's as they gonna... said strength, I was like, match A. Alright. Was that it? Was that really it? <laughs> Wait, fear was bullshittingly hard. That was... And this was almost easier than the first one. Yeah, that was probably was easier than the first one. With, uh, with Crystal. Yeah, where you had to, you know, get things in order or something. Oh my it was God. a shell game. Yes, it was. Uh... Okay, go on with the Scientology man. I mean, you know, and there's not much more to it. I I mean that's you know, that's that's the that's that's Didn't he like admit that he made it all up? I don't think so, because he was enjoying making too much money. Did he make a lot of money? I don't know if he did in his lifetime, but 
I mean, you know, there are your facts. He was a science fiction writer. He was quoted as saying, you want to make a lot of money, you create a religion. I guess. Jesus Christ. Okay, now he's got to go back. And it's the fact that, you know, I mean... Granted, most of what I know about Scientology is from South Park. But the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. South Park does not bullshit you on stuff like this. South Park thinks the funniest thing in the world is to tell you the truth. I don't know, that, that seems a uh, very inundated response. Well, you ask me. I mean, you know, if nothing else, South Park and Wikipedia are on the same side here. They're on the same side, yes. Yeah. So, this is also what Wikipedia says. Yeah, so could you lift that rock, then you could pass that fucking test. Like, straight up. <laughs> because, you know, that's also Wikipedia's history of Scientology. Well, see, I just don't... South Park is comedy. It is. South Park is satire. Which is comedy based on the downfalls of real life. If I do say And so. in a, it just seems to me like, in a case like that... There's, there would be nothing funnier if, if that's genuinely what if this if that is actually what Scientologists believe, then there you can't make that funnier. I, but is it what they truly believe? That's what I would wonder. You got to take that up with one of the many people who escaped it and are speaking against it now. Escaped? Yeah, you kind of have to escape. They do not like losing members. Like, what does that mean, escape? Do they kill you? Do they fucking shiv you? Is that what I, happens? I don't think it's quite like that, but, like, you know, peer pressure's a bitch, man. Not for me, man. Perhaps not. I don't know. Could you... You want to join Scientology? Not really. And, and let me know what it's, what it's like? Let me I've know always what... wanted to join the Freemasons just to see what it's like, because they're so secretive. But I know it's kind of bullshit and you would disrespect them, so I never would. I was writing this thing... Because I'm planning to resume one of my old comedy series here soon. I, it's been it's been off for quite a while, but I'm planning to resume all that old bullshit starring video game characters I described to you when we were in like seventh grade. Yes. Uh, I've oh I've been, I've brought it's had multiple revivals, but I'm gonna get back to its latest revival at this point. And I was thinking about episodes, which like my episodes are complete nonsense basically. So, one of them, one of the characters, uh, is Spike Man, who was created by an old internet friend of mine, and he has no arms. Yes. And he's at a bar, and the bar doesn't serve straw- doesn't have straws, so- well, that's a, bullshit. So he can't- so it's really hard for him to drink. And he tries to take this up with the bartender and threatens to sue him. And then the bartender reveals that he's uh, in on this gigantic conspiracy. Have we already made a pedestal being his dick joke? Yes, we have. Okay. <laughs> it's bad. Are you ready yeah. to go? So, to so the guy who runs the bar believes in this conspiracy theory that straws lead back to the super Illuminati. And the su oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Did you just, did you just say super <laughs> Illuminati? The Illuminati is a cover up for the super Illuminati. <laughs> and ten. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yes, he just hit the pause button right there, dude. I don't need to hear any more of that shit. Oh, hey, look. I think you just go up that one in the that one right there. Oh, you can't use Fuck it. you! It doesn't keep him down for long either. It kept kept the fucking T Rexes down longer. Here they are, how do they fall? I suppose so. So, Super Illuminati is a cover-up. The, the Illuminati is a cover-up for the Super Illuminati. Tinfoil hats don't really work. Uh, that was also made up by the Super Illuminati. Is this where it's supposed to go? Yeah. <laughs> Tinfoil hats don't work. But latex hats work. So everyone in the, on this conspiracy is wearing latex is body suits. Is this a suits. real thing? I wrote this. Okay. Everyone's wearing latex body suits, and they're planning to kill this character by castrating him to death. But he's he's not a human, he's a spiky, so they're not sure where his Can genitals are. Can you castrate someone to death? Like, yes. That, a thing? that was that was in like uh, that was in uh, the Odyssey. Uh, uh, Odysseus hangs a guy up from his like laundry pole or something and slices off his testicles and then he bleeds to death. 
That sucks. Yes. So, they're gonna castrate him to death, but he's not a human, he's a spiky. So they're not sure where his genitals are, and he figures, I got about 30 minutes till they figure it out. And it, right before they get close, he manages to get in on the leader of this. Oh shit. Wow. I really wanted that glass to shatter. Next time. No. Yes. No. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs>